Let me show you some examples of some very successful online businesses. Most of these you see here are actually online course creators that have been killing it for many, many years. Now I want you to notice one thing. They're using quizzes, but not just anywhere. They're using it above the fold, which is the most precious real estate on their entire website. They may be thinking to yourself, why would you want to put a quiz right there? Well, there's definitely a reason to why they're doing it. In this video, I'm going to explain why they're doing that and why you might want to do the same for your business and how to build a quiz like that using Thrive Quiz Builder. This is Colin from Thrive Themes. And I wanna ask real quick right now, just before we get into this, just subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, so you get notified as soon as all the YouTube content goes live. Now, let's get back to talking about quizzes and why you should use them on your site. There's a ton of benefits to using quizzes on your site, but we're gonna focus on the major two benefits that having quizzes can do for your site. The first major benefit is that it segments your visitors right from the start. This is critical when growing your online business. Even if you're just getting started, maybe months or even weeks into your business, having a quiz so your readers, visitors, and potential customers are segmented in your email autoresponder right from the beginning can pay massive dividends in the future. This way, your visitors, readers, and subscribers are always getting relevant content, products, and service offers. If you don't do this in the beginning, it's gonna be so much harder, trust me. You do not wanna delay this if you don't have to because you don't wanna be two, three, or even five years into your email list and no one's tagged, you don't necessarily know what different readers and subscribers want. The second major benefit of having quizzes on your site is it is a very powerful conversion driver. Now, there's one key phrase I want you to remember. The goal with the quiz for driving conversions is to get the right offer in front of the right people. If you can do that, you are well on your way to having a successful quiz funnel. The examples I showed you at the beginning of the video, this is exactly what they're doing. They're doing everything they can to get the right offer in front of the right people. Now, let me show you a couple more examples and a little bit deeper view. The first example I wanna show you is from IWillTeachYouToBeRich.com, a very popular blog in the personal finance space. And he offers a ton of different products from starting a business, investing, personal finance, and even memory and other mental habits like that. Now, the main benefit of his quiz is that it helps him get the right offer in front of the right people. He has a multi-question quiz to make sure that all the people that land in his homepage are going to the right place. Example number two I wanna show you is from Kinobody.com. And this is a fitness site where he helps people get the physique of their dreams, or what he calls a Hollywood physique. And his quiz is very simple. He segments it by male and female and then goes down from there. But he offers multiple different products on how to gain muscle, lose weight, female only, male only, body weight, and everything in between. And if you're just brand new to his website, how would you know which products you want to buy or which one's even right for you? That's what this quiz does. It helps get the right offer in front of the right Person. Now, let me show you how you can build a quiz like that on your own website using Thrive Quiz Builder. Let me start by walking you through an example of a hypothetical fitness quiz that I built using Thrive Quiz Builder. So let's take a look here and we have this here, this is the ultimate physique quiz. Now, this is above the fold on our homepage. I'm just gonna start the quiz here and we'll do it separated by gender and current body type. So we have a few options here and then goal body type. Okay, so now we have the what we would call the opt-in gate. So this is where uh, all the magic happens. I'll explain that later, but for now, I'm just going to enter in my name and email and show you the results page. Okay, so this is the dynamic results page, which I will get into later on in this video, but I just wanna point out here that that is the entire quiz. They didn't leave your homepage. They stayed right there in the above the fold section. So they could very easily go through the quiz and you have just converted a casual visitor or reader into a segmented high value subscriber. I wanna point out one thing here. There was two results they could have gotten in this quiz. They could have either gotten a muscle building result or a fat loss result. Now you can see here, the result we got by the questions we answered, we received the muscle building by the emoji you see here. And this is key because if I would have answered a different series of questions, I would have gotten the fat loss result, which would have showed me different content and also put me on a different segmentation list in the autoresponder. And now there's one major benefit I haven't even told you yet. You're still here on the homepage. The visitor and the reader that you took all that precious effort and energy to get to your site is still there. It didn't go to some other random SaaS company's quiz. It didn't go to some subdomain. They're right here. 
you can send them the content, they can keep reading your homepage and so on. So this is incredibly powerful for building that audience and getting them to the right content. Now we're here back in Thrive Quiz Builder. I'm not gonna go through every little detail within Thrive Quiz Builder. We have many other tutorial videos and blog posts about that. But I am gonna cover four major key points here within Thrive Quiz Builder. So let's start with point number one, and that is why I chose a category quiz. Within Thrive Quiz Builder, we have multiple different quiz types you can choose, but a category quiz is powerful for this kind of fitness physique quiz style because it allows us to choose a category of product or type of content that the visitor and quiz taker can get segmented towards. The category quiz perfectly ties into the methodology of having the right offer for the right person because each category serves as its own unique offer. For this fitness example we have here set up, we only have two categories. There is a fat loss category and a muscle building category. This brings us to point number two, which is about tagging in Quiz Builder. So now we've jumped forward a little bit into the quiz editor page. And within this page, you're able to set the questions for your quiz and do a lot. But I wanna focus on one key thing here, and that is the tagging. Now, it's very easy to set up tags. All you have to do is turn on the tag toggle you see here and you set the answers to whatever you want them to be. So you can see here we only have the two tags, the male and the female tag set up. Now these are gonna carry over all the way through the quiz, but let's take a look at the next set of questions to show you more tags we've added. Here we have the next question in the quiz, and that is, what is your current body type? So we have another set of three answers here and multiple different tags we have here. We have current skinny, current skinny fat, and current overweight. So this is the next set of tags we have applied here. And this is important because the tags from the top part here for the male and female carry down. Then we have the next set of tags. And as you can see here, we have our third question, which has three more tags. So goal lean, goal toned, and goal muscular for the question or for the tags. Now, one thing I want to put out here that's happened is in the previous two, you saw that there was the current body type was a question and current was in the tag. And for this one, the question is goal body type and we have goal in the tag for each, underneath each descriptor. That's really important because the last thing you wanna do is have a really complex quiz and thousands of people go through it and you're unorganized. Don't do that. Set it up very organized and clean right from the start by being descriptive with your tags. It's not complicated, just by adding word like current or goal to go along with the question was all we needed to do. Now we're on to the third part of the quiz, which is the opt-in gate. I wanna start by showing the key features here of the opt-in gate that apply to what's happening with your tags. So here we have our MailChimp account connected via API. And you can do that very easily. When you're in the editor of Quiz Builder, you wanna just make sure you select the lead generation form. And underneath main options, you're gonna automatically have the option to connect via API or HTML code. Now we integrate with a lot of the major autoresponders like Drip, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, and some other ones as well. I wanna make a quick note here. The only way for your tags to carry through is if you're using an API connection within Thrive Quiz Builder. And I wanna make sure that if you're using one of our supported autoresponders, just look on the Thrive Themes knowledge base to find and make sure that your autoresponder works with Thrive Quiz Builder. One last point I wanna mention here is after you have the API connected with your autoresponder and the quiz taker goes through all of your questions and ends up at the opt-in gate, enters in their name and email, that, and at that single point, that's where all the tags and data gets transferred into your autoresponder. Now, take a look here on the screen and you'll see exactly how those tags were carried over from our quiz here we have in this example into our MailChimp account. The fourth and final step I wanna point out with our quiz here is the results page. Now, the real awesome feature we have within our results page for all of our quizzes is you can use dynamic content. In this case, we would use dynamic content to make sure that the right person sees the right offers or content or really anything that's related to the quiz results that they just got. If you take a look here on the screen, this is an example of someone who went through the quiz and based on the category tags, they got put into the muscle building category. So you can see here we have kind of the flexing emoji with the dynamic content text that says, check out our best resources on muscle building. And this would send them to the category page on our blog, but you could also send it to the product about muscle building, or it could be YouTube videos you have about muscle building. That's how it all be done dynamically. You can even go one step further by replacing the emoji here or the link, and you could just go right for the sale. You could have a buy button right here, an ebook or a PDF or something right there that's a very strong call to action, 
related to muscle building or whatever you have set as the category. After watching this video now, I hope that you're convinced that quizzes are a super effective and powerful way to grow your mailing list and ultimately your business. With Thrive Quiz Builder, we've made it even easier than ever before to build powerful quizzes for your site. So if you don't already have a copy of Quiz Builder, make sure to check out the first link in the description of this video to get your copy today.